This is Eagle, Idaho. We are gonna do a sneak peek into the top seven neighborhoods that fit your unique lifestyle. Whether it's a quiet neighborhood or a banging location, Eagle, Idaho really provides it all. Absolutely love this place and you're gonna quickly see why. Make sure you stay to the end because I'm gonna reveal to you the one neighborhood I always recommend my clients. So let's get started. Riverstone, this riverside haven combines upscale living with nature's charm. If you love nature, you are gonna love what's inside. This is really a unique spot. So we're right on the river. You've got these lots back here that back up. So they've got this empty grass that they're not paying for. You, like This would be the prime lot. I know my buddy, he was under contract for a house over there for 1.475 on that pond that we're looking at. And so this one, I would assume this is more because we're on a natural water. I bet you these, because they're not building it, I bet these are 1.6, 1.8, somewhere in there. Riverstone, now that, now that I'm thinking about it, like the price range, statistically, when I was doing my research, anywhere from 500,000 to a couple million. There's a lot in here. There's two lots that are one acre. I remember that. But most are this, this size you see here. I'm gonna guess this is like a third of an acre, this house, this lot size, this one white house is. HOAs, a couple thousand a year. A lot of these lots have beachfront, so they'll make these man-made ponds and they'll put beachfront on there. You can, you know, paddleboard the, you can swim in there if you want. Not many people swim because there is actually a clubhouse. There's a pool, there's fire pits, there's bocce ball, there's open areas. This location is West Eagle, very close to Star. So you'll be shopping and, you know, doing your eating out in the Star. You'll also be hitting the highway, State Street, and going down to Eagle Road and going to Crave or Coins or Bodacious Pig, things like that. Good location. But Riverstone is a lifestyle. There's a clubhouse too for working out. So you're getting a lot. It's a lifestyle here. People who move to Riverstone, it's a lifestyle. So I would say it's smaller lots and even legacy, generally speaking, but the lifestyle you're getting in Riverstone is, I would say it's unequal. Riverstone is a place where I'd have no problem. In fact, the pe person who was under contract for 1.75 was my best friend. So like I would have zero problem putting anyone in this neighborhood, Austin neighborhood. Do you want to get into an awesome location, Eagle, Idaho, new home, large lots, maybe some ponds? This one is for you, Bald Eagle Point, take a look. Welcome to Bald Eagle Point in Eagle, Idaho. This subdivision packs a big punch. The amenities, you've got a pickleball court, you've got an awesome pond that a lot of these homes sit on. You've got a park area, you've got a play area. Really a ton. The location you can't beat, just a couple miles from all the stores and access you need for shopping and grocery. You've got a couple thousand dollars a year that'll get you all that access for the HOA. Price point anywhere from 1.1 to 1.7, pretty evenly distributed on that, that price range. You'll find that the median point is 1.4, showing you the good price range that it's at. Everything in here is one builder, it's WPG. I think it's a group out of California. So that's the one con I'd say about this neighborhood is that you'll find one builder. So that's, you'll have six, seven, eight homes you can choose from, a few elevations you can choose from, but you might see your home repeated, you know, a few houses down. So if there's one con, that's it. But for the price point and for the luxury and for the amenities, great subdivision, Bald Eagle Point. A lot of these neighborhoods we're looking at here in Eagle, Idaho have a ton of luxury, a ton of water. That's all great, but very few have direct access to the Boise River. Creighton Woods has that with a lot of home sites on that Boise River and even reach into Banbury Golf Course. Let's take a look at why Creighton Woods is one neighborhood to behold. One of the things I absolutely love about Creighton Woods is the waterfront access, like we said about the Boise River. I mean, the water here in the center of the neighborhood is pretty sweet, but everything's really new here. This is, everything's built since 2020. Price ranges are 1.4 to almost 3 million with the median price point about 2 million roughly. HOA prices are at a flat $1,800 a year. Builders in here include Tradewinds, uh, Paradigm, Legacy, reputable builders. These homes in here you'll see are in the Prado homes. This home right here behind me was in the Prado homes just a couple years ago. That's a feature of homes we have in the Boise Valley. And home sites are here about 0.4 to 0.6 acres. Not a lot of variance there, but next to the Boise River, water access next to Banbury Golf Course. And then the shopping location, this actually is really close to North Meridian. So your location is actually really, really prime. So a lot to like about Creighton Woods. It might cost you a little bit to get into here, but it is so worth it. This place is a dime piece of a neighborhood. In Eagle, Idaho, it's a toss up between Mesa Ranch and Two Rivers. It's a toss up, but luxury living is guaranteed. What I love about Two Rivers is, well, just look. This place is awesome. You'll find different sections of communities. You'll find gated, you'll find non-gated, you'll find ponds, waterfalls. In fact, there's 17 ponds over 40 waterfalls, tennis courts, paved paths, clubhouse. HOA fees are $2,000 to $4,000 a year, roughly. There's a couple exceptions to that. You'll see the median price range around 850,000. Lowest home price was around 650. 
and you've seen the highest home sell in the last 12 months in Eagle Idaho was in this neighborhood at 6.4. So you're finding quite a lot of variety here in Two Rivers. And you're gonna find homes ranging from around 1,900 square feet up to 8,000 square feet. So yes, there is a variety, but this place has luxury written all over it and you're gonna find a lifestyle that fits you here in Two Rivers. This is Mace River Ranch's clubhouse. Now Mace River Ranch does offer the clubhouse and pool. When we look around the neighborhood, you're gonna see that while I'm talking here. There is a more uniform feel here in Mace River Ranch than there is in Two Rivers. Difference being primarily, you're gonna find mostly the home sites are quarter acre to an acre. Now there are exceptions to that. Prices, for example, 1.1 to 2.2 in the last 12 months of sales with the median price range like 1.6 million, obviously. So, and that's just the last 12 months. But compare that to Two Rivers where you're all over the place with lot sizes, with prices, but everything in here is built in the last 10 years, a lot of it in the last couple. Mesa Branch has roughly two and a half miles of trails. There's a nice little nature reserve between the Greenbelt and the neighborhood. The Greenbelt is just on the other side of those houses. It's a super good location, nestled up next to Eagle Road. HOA prices range roughly from 1,500, about 3,600 bucks a year. You're getting a lot though. And Mesa River Ranch is luxury, it's quality. This is a place where people say when they come to town, I've heard this many times, hey, I wanna be in Mesa River Ranch. I wanna be in Two Rivers. I've also heard I wanna be in Williamson River Ranch. And when they're in that niche and that price range, this is a super nice, well sought after community. One thing that is the same between Mace River Ranch and Two Rivers is there are sections where it's gated or non-gated. This is the non-gated section. The gated section, honestly, just about as nice as this section. I mean, there's not really a difference between there's a gate. Guys and gals, if you're moving here in the next nine days, nine weeks, nine months, I'm your guy. Give me a call and get set up on the buying and Boise blueprint. There's no better way. You don't want to miss out on any homes. You don't want to overpay and you don't want to buy a lemon. This process sets you up on that. So if you're coming to town, give me a call, give me a text, shoot me an email, and let's get you connected on the buying and Boise blueprint. Home builders in Dry Creek Ranch. Now there's been a ton that have been here. Belleville, Biltmore, Highland, Solitude, Boise Hunter Homes, but really the remaining lots in here, a lot of them are Boise Hunter Homes. There's some private builders that get in here and have some lots here and there, but for the most part, that's what's been and that's what there will be here in Dry Creek Ranch. The client I have right now is under contract with Boise Hunter Homes. They finished their home out in March. It's been about a nine month process for a huge 5,000 square foot home. It's super nice. It's actually one of the nicest ones in here to date. Boise Hunter Homes is a semi custom builder, right? So they have their options for you. And then you can choose from that list of options how you want to move out walls or add a fireplace or add a door that looks like this or a elevation that looks like that. That's how they work. It's not full customer. You get to say, hey, I'll take a floor plan and I'll modify anything I want. They have their list that they can do for you. But because of that, they can keep their options and their prices down. That helps a ton on the building side. What people want to do and they think they want to do is build custom. Custom becomes a headache because you've got to choose every handle, every doorknob, every light switch, the location, how many feet up you want it, how many feet away from the doorway. And custom, people who build custom once usually and typically don't build again. In fact, this couple who's building this home here in Dry Creek Ranch, they actually just built a huge home in Portland and they're moving from Portland for obvious reasons and they did not want to build custom again. So Boise Hunter Homes fit them nicely. Boise Hunter Homes also is super awesome to work with on our end. We really work well together and it's you know it's good because I get to keep in contact with the client the, the client can keep in contact with me and the builder and there's a good reciprocity of help and neat things that are needed on our end and their end and representing that buyer doesn't cost them any extra money out of pocket that price is gonna be the same for the bottom line for the house the home prices in here you'll see as low as 780 you'll see it creep above 2 million in fact I have a home build right now it's 2.4 million the highest price sell is over 2.1 million right now. And then the median home price in here is 1.07 million. So just a hair over a million bucks. The home prices, you do pay a little bit more, but you get so much for the lifestyle here. You need to see Williamson River Ranch if you want to experience luxury on the river. Just being in Williamson River Ranch is a treat. You can look around, this place is beautiful. The amenities, the ponds, the pathways, the pool, the Gaginaw appliances in the clubhouse, it all speaks to luxury. The views you have of the mountain, you're right next to the green belt. It is a really good feel inside of here. And this is something people seek after a ton. I mentioned it before. This is one of the places people want to be in Eagle, Idaho. There are quite a few nice builders in here. Two of my favorites are in here. Legacy Construction, Paradigm Construction, both winners to work with. Now to get that luxury living, you are going to pay $2,300 to $3,000 a year for the HOA fees here. Also keep in mind, acreages are quarter acre to half acre. There's only been seven home site sales in the last 12 months. So there's not a ton going on in terms of that, but it's a new neighborhood. Very normal for a new neighborhood to not have that turnover quite yet because a lot of home construction is still happening. Home prices here range from 1.3 to 2 million in the last year. The median home price is about 1.5. So that means 
half those home sale prices are happening below 1.5 and above 1.3. Welcome to Legacy Subdivision. This is Eagle's best kept secret where luxury living meets community spirit. I absolutely love this neighborhood and it's my number one pick for you to move to Eagle, Idaho. You'll love as we walk through all that you're discover. So let's go take a peek inside. This is Legacy's three hole golf course. There's a par three over the water. There's a par five over the water. There's a par four. There's 590 acres total in all Legacy. That's being expanded upon as they're buying more land. There's three swimming pools. There are three tennis carts. There's a couple pickleball courts. There's a huge soccer field. It was laser leveled at one time. This place was gonna be the Mia Hamm Center for Soccer and the Jack Nicklaus Center for Golf. That's changed. It's now just those things we've described. There's tons of walking paths. Legacy really is a community. There's a sense of togetherness. There's a ton of events. There's 4th of July events. There's Thanksgiving events. There's parades for Christmas. The fireworks show here for the residents that come during 4th of July is absolutely off the charts. I mean, honestly, Legacy has so much. The HOA fees are anywhere from 16 to 2,400, which is a lot, but you get so much for that dollar with everything that is. Once you walk around, you see what I'm talking about. The prim and proper feel here is kept up by that money, but yet the residents are pretty laid back and it's really just a great spot. Legacy is designed to have small lots, large lots, lots on water, large homes, small homes, townhomes, starter homes, homes just like this, you know, homes that go for 1.35 or townhomes just across the way here, they're going for about a half million. Because once you get in the neighborhood, they want to keep you in that lifestyle and people do that. They'll move here once and then they stay in here and keep that lifestyle. So that's what Legacy is designed to do. Median home price in here is around 970. I've seen home sales north of 2.5, but for the most part, you're going to be finding these types of homes, one to 1.5. The home I sold was 740. And then you'll find, you know, just gargantuan nice homes, but they're still half acre or less. That is probably the knock on Legacy, if there is one, is that you're not finding acre lots. You'll find half acre and below. The builder teams in here, this was not a closed subdivision, meaning not a specific set of builders was building in here, but anyone could, as long as they built through their strict standards. You'll find different phases of this neighborhood who have different standards than another. For example, there's a section right over here where you have to have 50 year roofs and the neighbor next door, the street next door, doesn't have to have that same standard because they're different ACC guidelines. So that kind of gives you a look into how Legacy's put up and the quality there is there. Legacy is really easy for me to recommend to others. I lived here, experienced here. I played on the golf course, swam, played soccer, tennis, pickleball, had the community events. HOA is par for the course for Eagle. And I already mentioned 1,600 to 2,400 a year. And that really helps keep the values up regardless of the builder you have. And that's a knock on some open subdivisions like I just mentioned is that anyone can build there. But if you have strict guidelines and you have different standards that they have to meet, you're totally fine. To sum it up, in Eagle Idaho, Legacy Subdivision takes the cake as the number one pick. Bonus for you here, if you're looking for a hot spot in Eagle to get a good date night, we absolutely love starting at Crave, just right in the same parking lot, and then we'll hit Eagle Lux Theater. This is one of those theaters where you can get the buttered popcorn, put your legs up, recline your chair, huge screens, so you can spend less than 100 bucks, maybe around 100 bucks at Crave, Eagle Lux Theater, and then we'll hit up Stella's, and grab yourself a huge scoop or two of custom homemade ice cream. You will not regret it, and tell them Brian Heima sent you. This is Eagle Idaho, and we're going to sneak peek right in there. This is a... <laughs> Ready? Like a movie style. It might be a quiet location. Or... Oh my gosh! <laughs> it can be a quiet neighborhood or a luxury lifestyle. Oh my gosh, I am like so... Quiet neighborhood. Quiet neighborhood, quiet neighborhood or banging location. Oh, something smells good. Ready? Ow! It's in my shirt. There it is. You got the Range Rover in the background? Shows Eagle Idaho pretty well. Where we grab a huge scoop of ice cream and guys that get uh, delectable, end your date night with a bang. I'm, uh, I'm just saying all sorts of crap right now. Williamson River Ranch. What? Where Eagle's residents say, life's more. What? Life's, is that what it's supposed to say? Yep. Okay. Okay, ready? Man, that sun's bright, man. I need to get in out of this. Oh, this would be good. The reason I recommend it to people and the reason I can do it without remorse is you got dog poop on your foot. foot. <laughs> I was like, I see dog poop. I see dog poop. Okay, ready? 